In this video, we're going to build an IP surveillance camera with the ESP32 CAM board. The ESP32 camera is going to host a video streaming web server that you can access with any device in your network. You can also integrate it with other home automation platforms such as Home Assistant and Node-RED. We'll show you how to integrate it with Home Assistant. The ESP32 CAM is a very small camera module with a ESP32 S chip that costs less than $10. You can watch our previous video to learn more about the ESP32 CAM and build a project example. So, let's start building the video streaming web server. We'll be using Arduino IDE, so you need to make sure you have the latest ESP32 board add-on installed in your Arduino IDE. If you don't, you can follow this video that explains how to quickly install the ESP32 add-on. After that, copy the code provided in the project page to your Arduino IDE. First, you need to insert your network credentials in these variables. Then, select the right camera module. In this case, we're using the AI Thinker model. Now, the code is ready to be uploaded to your ESP32. The ESP32 CAM doesn't come with a USB connector, so you need an FTDI programmer to upload code using the serial pins. Follow this schematic diagram. Also, don't forget that GPIO0 needs to be connected to ground so that you're able to upload code. After wiring the ESP32 to the FTDI programmer, you can upload the code. Go to Tools, Port, and select ESP32 WROVER module. Select the COM port the ESP32 is connected to. In the partition scheme, select option UJPP 3 MB no OTA. Having GPIO0 connect to ground, press the ESP32 CAM reset button to put it in flashing mode. Then, click the Arduino IDE upload button. After uploading the sketch, you need to disconnect GPIO0 from ground. Open the serial monitor at a baud rate of 11.5200 and press the ESP32 CAM onboard reset button. The ESP IP address should be printed in the serial monitor. Now, you can access your camera streaming server on your local network. Open a browser and type the ESP32 CAM IP address. This page should load. As you can see, the image is pretty good for such a small and inexpensive camera. The subject should have good lighting and the camera should be steady for better image quality. The web server only supports one client at a time. This means that only the first client connect to the ESP32 CAM will see the video streaming. That's a current limitation with the sketch that we're running. Having just the ESP32 CAM working via IP might be useful for most people but you can also integrate it with Home Assistant. Open your Home Assistant dashboard, go to the More Settings menu and open Configure UI. Add a new card to your dashboard of the type Picture. In the Image URL field, enter the ESP32 CAM IP address. If you're using the configuration file, this is what you need to add. Click the Save button and return to the main dashboard. That's it, Home Assistant can display the ESP32 CAM web server. As a final step, you can use one of these fake dummy cameras and place the ESP32 CAM inside. You can power it using 5V power adapter through the ESP32 CAM ground and 5V pins. Then, you can place the surveillance camera in a suitable place. After that, go to the camera IP address or to your Home Assistant dashboard and see in real time what's happening. This is us testing the surveillance camera outside. It's impressive what this little $9 ESP32 camera module can do and it's been working reliably. Now I can see in real time what's happening in my front entrance. For more details, full code and schematics, visit randomnerdtutorials.com or click the first link in the video description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more ESP32 CAM projects.